My name is Clay Lawrence, owner of Review Harvest. You can see I won an award here from high level. I have about 180 active SaaS companies and make a little bit over $24,000 per month just helping local business owners get Google reviews. And I help other people do that same thing. And what I wanna do is I wanna show you something that no other affiliates posting YouTube videos can show you because they're not actually doing it. So I'm gonna show you an onboarding call where I walk through a business owner clicking the buttons to make sure we get access to things that we need to help him start getting Google reviews day one. After this call, we have everything integrated and almost everything automated so that he'll be a client of ours for years to come, paying us $100 or $200 per month with a very small chance of churning because everything's connected and everything's automated. So this isn't a flashy video about how you can make 10K overnight, showing you how easy it is. No, this is the nitty gritty that only someone who's actually doing this can show you. I hope you enjoy. If you got a welcome email or not, but you got a welcome email, it just gave you your login and your password. But if you I want to so just go to, uh, oh, perfect. Yeah, so just app.reviewharvest.com. Should be logged in still. Let's see. There we go. Yep. Perfect. Yeah, sweet. Yeah, so if you want to click on that get started button down there in the bottom corner again, and then click on access to Google business profile, click on connect Google, click on connect. All right. And then I don't know if I can see the pop-up window. I think just sharing the tab, but it should pop up with the prompting you to log in with your Gmail account that manages your Google business profile. Did it do that? It should have done. Let me see. And then, yeah, it's, and then... Is this, is this, what browser is this? Is this Chrome or? Chrome. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes Chrome will like block the pop-up. So you might need to click on it again. And then it's going to take you to a page where you can I did select the page. Let's see. It's spinning here. There we go. All right. Yeah. So you can click on the checkbox next to it. Don't turn on call tracking. Just click on the checkbox next to it. And then just click on connect. And then that should have got it connected. It kind of like double clutches there for some reason. It probably doesn't say that it's connected yet, but it should be. If you click on the reviews, your reviews are pulling through. So we're good to go there. Yeah, perfect. All right, sweet. So now we're gonna we're gonna upload the let's see. Doo -doo -doo -doo. We're gonna upload your client list. So click on upload client list on that checklist and click on contacts. And let's go ahead and pull up your house call pro and let's go ahead and download that list of uh, viewer contacts there. Yeah, I don't need to pull it up. I've got it already downloaded. Oh, sweet. Sweet. I will find it here. Yeah, and so you're going to click on contacts. And actually, they just changed their UI. So our little our little widget there helping you with onboarding is going to block the save button. So click on dismiss right here, and you can dismiss the checklist. So we need there to move go. that. But yeah, contacts, then click on next. And then you can drag that file in right there. Be and these will be all your these will be all your clients your comp completed jobs and stuff right yeah this is every customer in the system so it's not just complete okay job. okay do we need it to be just and so do you well i mean it's really your preference yeah. here i mean you, you want to <laughs> figure out like we don't want to send these review requests to leads really we'd like right. to send them specifically just to people that you've worked with and interacted with you know there are technically Google's terms of service say you can request a review from anybody that's interacted with you. Right. But you you probably want to change this to just your customers for now. Okay. Um, for that, then hang on. Yeah. So good. do you recommend that people sort of, you know, at least take a look, like scrub through their list to make sure there's nobody in there that they don't want to send a review request to? Yeah. I think if you said there's like 150 or 160 people in here, yeah, you, there's, there might be a job or two off the top of your head that you're like, yeah, I probably don't want to request a review from them. So we can just go ahead and delete them from the system. But, and then, yeah. and should I be deleting them out of this list before I upload it? Like, is it going to automatically send to everybody in this no, list? No, it's not going to automatically send them out yet. Yeah, I'll show you how to, you can upload them all into here and then I'll show you how to delete them. All right. Let me re-export this because I need contact info. So let's do number or email. Really what I need. All right. Let's export this again. It's great. Yeah. Why is your, it's so weird. Your mouse is moving on your screen, but I assume you're on another screen right now. Yeah. I, am. I think it's just the single tab that's being shared. It's there we go. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So let's get back here. Let's yeah, up perfect. this one. We'll create. All right. Here we go. So this will be me. So yeah. So we just want to map the fields, the email. email. Perfect. Oh, yeah, I need yeah, it. You can. Yeah, that's that's literally it. And then right. you can click on don't import data and unmatch columns, that little checkbox there. Perfect. Next. And then click on create a smart list of content contacts from this. So that checkbox right over here. You can title right. it whenever you want to title it. Um, okay. And then just confirm that those are your contacts, people you got consent to reach out to and start the bulk import. All right, perfect. So that's gonna load here. So we'll give that a second to load. When it comes to the image for the, the image we wanna use for the personalized image, 
Do you have one maybe on like Facebook or do you have any photos already that you think would be good? I can find I like the ones you showed as an example. No, I don't have anything like that, but I I mean I can we can make one. It's pretty easy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for sure. What we like to do, I'll grab just something from your website or something for right now. And then just to get started, but then whenever you get a photo of, of you know somebody on your team or yourself or anything like that, yeah, um, we can, can go that. ahead and change that. Let me see. Oh, this actually is a great photo. This photo with the logo painting, I think that'll work for now. I don't know if that's like a, just a franchise wise photo, but it looks like it shows exactly what you're doing, painting, and it's got the logo, so that's good. All right, perfect, we got that. So now let's go ahead and click on Social Planner over here on the side panel, and just go ahead and click on Connect Facebook. So we can go ahead and connect Facebook, Instagram, and the Google Business Profile for this social media posting. So <laughs> nice working with people that know how to use a computer. You can imagine. <laughs> I get yeah. all these calls oh, yeah. and like, oh yeah, they're 65. They, they like, I, I can't get the dust off my laptop. I haven't opened this thing yeah. in years. <laughs> I'm like, damn it. <laughs> Buckle in. It's going to be a long one. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So you can click the same thing with Instagram, connect Instagram. What are you using for that onboarding integration? Like it's called, yeah. it's yeah, it's called Usitable and it's pretty simple. It integrates with high level pretty easily and you can just create like a checklist and then guides to walk through and then click on okay. connect the G, uh, Google business profile as well. This is going to give us posting access to post these as like updates instead of like kind of like posts instead of just the uh, normal access. Perfect. All right. You're good to go there. All right. So now we've got that, got the photo, et cetera. So now let's go to your, go to your house call pro and we need to grab your API key. So if you click on, yeah, click on the, yeah, this one. Yep. App store. Then look up Zapier. Should be, you want Zapier? Yep. Yeah. And then view details and then enable. And if you refresh that page, it's going to give you an API key now that it's active. There you go. And just paste that in the chat. Um, and I'll get connected. Yep. Sweet. Nice when CRMs make it easy. I know, right? Oh my gosh, yeah. Uh, it's, it you ever is, worked? Uh, have you ever worked with a CRM called Market Shark? You ever run across it one day? You're in home services. What type of what? Okay. Yeah, home services like a lot of, lot of like replacement window siding and door companies use it. It's just, it's just, it's yeah. Hey, they don't they don't make it easy. <laughs> so it's a lot of manual work. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. no fun. Okay, and so what we're gonna we're gonna trigger it off of new job completed. A new completed job. Does that work? Yep. Okay, perfect. So just make sure you're marking the jobs off. I mean, I can't tell you how many people I, it doesn't sound like it's going to be an issue, but I can't tell you how many people are like, we're going to with your CRM. Like you just got to mark the jobs as done. You just got to mark yep. those completed. Nobody, nobody's getting a review request if you're not marking no, it as done. Yeah, so. we, we definitely do that. Perfect. Sweet. And then go back to review harvest, go ahead. And so what we do is we rebuild for the text and email expenses. Since, since you have like 150 people in here, it'll be like 15, it'll be like 10 to 15 bucks for this review reactivation. But then on a monthly basis, it's probably gonna be an extra five or six bucks a month or less depending on the customer volume. So just click on settings down there at the bottom and then click on company billing and then click on wallet and transactions. And you can go ahead and just add like a 10 or $15 balance. And then you can pay, perfect. All right, sweet. And then, yeah, that's it. So now from here, we'll, we'll work on setting up that. So the reason why it says 20 in there is because I accidentally chart like the, we're trying to do this new thing with card verification or whatever to make sure people give us good cards. Anyways, for some reason it charged $10. I refunded that $10. And then I also put that $10 on your balance already. So now you got 20 bucks in there. So you're cool. good to go there. And yeah, you can just click on go back and I'll just show you a couple more things. So the dashboard here, you click on the dashboard window. You see these, this is going to track how many review requests we've sent out, how many people have, are kind of in the review request workflow. Once you have numbers in here, you can click on this number and it'll give you a list. it give you a list of the specific people. This reviewed right here is tracking how many people have left the left to review or click the link to leave a review. It's a little bit off right now because attribution is pretty hard when it comes to Google reviews because Google's not sending, Google's not sending the email that, of the person that left the review back. So we have to kind of do our best to match it. And so to really see how many reviews you, you've got, you can go to reviews, the review panel down here, and you can just click on, you'll see how many you can toggle between the months. And then also if you click on reviews right here up at the top, you'll be able to see what we responded to the reviews and all, all the stuff coming through here. And then if you need any like review widgets or anything for your site, you can create a widget here. And the default one looks so ugly, but you can edit the widget and, you can edit the widget and change it to like masonry or grid. I like one of those better. 
And then once you save it, you can just copy the code right here. And then you can embed that on your site or wherever you want to, wherever you want to display these reviews. And so, so yeah, that's, that's that. We got you all set up. We're going to, we're going to create that personalized image with the photo that I get from your Google business profile. We'll create social media posts from your photos on your website and Facebook and stuff like that. So that anytime you're getting that five-star review, we'll post it to your social media. And then uh, we'll go ahead and launch your account later today. Since you, let's see how many actually contacts came through. Let's see, we got, go to contacts. And yeah, you can scroll, you can like make the page size a hundred or whatever, and you can scroll through here and delete any, delete any people you want to delete. And so it looks like, da, 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 da. yeah, I'll definitely looks like there was a, there was 131 uploaded, but there was 131 uploaded, but 45 failed. It looks like they all failed because of a duplicate email. It looks like you know, it's gray star. Yeah. Because yeah, we've got a, I just did a, a job export. So we've got a commercial client that's probably got like 35 jobs and they're all under the okay. same email. Course, yeah. This, it automatically removes the du the duplicates. So cool. They won't get. All right, so I should go through requests. here and any that I don't want to get a review request. Uh, yeah, just click on the checkbox yeah. next to it and then scroll up yeah. to the top and there's like delete icon. You can just delete whoever you want Perfect. to delete. Perfect, okay. All right, we'll do that. Yeah, um, so we'll go ahead and launch your account later today. Since you've got 86 in here, I mean, realistically, you'll probably get anywhere from you know, six, seven, eight to 15 or 20 reviews just in this review reactivation. 20 would be great. Probably anywhere between like five and 15. And then on an ongoing basis though, we'll be integrated with your house call pro. So anytime you're completing a job, they'll be getting that personalized image review request. We'll be responding cool. to it and we'll be uh, posting on your social media and stuff. Okay. I got, I got a question. Yeah, so up? if like, let's say, let's say that this list was more like a thousand people, right? Yeah. When you do the reactivation, you know, like, cause I know, I know you have like the pricing tiers, like less than 50, which is, this is what this account would be, I assume. Yeah. Right. So then, but like, are you, when you're reactivating these reviews, if you had a thousand people, are you reactivating like all of them or are you just doing some and then dripping them throughout the, like the rest? How does that work? Yeah. Um, so since we re since we rebuild for the tax and email expenses, that's a that's what allows us to reactivate the whole entire list, right? So you okay. know, if you give us a list of a thousand, we're not just going to send out fifty review requests the first month, right? We're gonna if you give us a thousand, we'll probably drip that out over two or three or four weeks and just yeah. kind of slowly let those reviews trickle in. And you know, we we've seen. I mean, it's so dependent. It's incredibly dependent based off of industry and, you know, like for example, like Richmond, you'll probably, Richmond, you're going to get a much better review conversion rate than like a mover in downtown New York. <laughs> like yeah, the yeah. type of people you're working with, you know, it's, there's like lots of things that kind of contribute to it, but we expect anywhere from like five to 15%, you know, we've seen as high as 30% review conversion rate. It's just, you know, so it's, it's a hard okay. thing to kind of estimate. Okay. And so what your conversion rate is like, what? What are you getting like eight percent on average or something like that? I don't know. I yeah. So for the review for the review reactivation, I'd say it's it the average is eight to eight nine you know, maybe ten percent. But then on an ongoing basis, when we're requesting reviews right away, you're gonna get a much right. higher review conversion rate. So like probably anywhere between like sixteen and seventeen percent. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Cool. For cool. Sure, for sure. Yeah. We good? I got a quick question for yeah. you. Let, yeah. Let's up, say buddy? let's say in the off chance someone's having a bad day and they leave an unjustified bad review. How would you yeah. guys handle that? Yeah. So if you want to, I mean, we don't necessarily recommend it just in terms of compliance with Google and stuff, but we can set up a review filter page. So instead of taking them directly to leave a Google review, we can take them to a page that says, how was your experience with that logo, the business name, et cetera. And it's going to say green smiley face, yellow straight face, or red frowny face, right? Green smiley face. They click on that, take them directly to Google, yellow straight face or red frowny face can take them to an internal page to leave internal feedback. And so the very bottom of that form, it says like leave a public review if, they, if you still want to just to make it more compliant. And so that filters out 99% of the bad feedback. If you want to set that up, we can. If not, the other thing is that if you have a bad experience, if you know that a client had a bad experience, you can just come in here and delete their contact or turn their contact on do not disturb so they don't get a review request. Yeah, I was, I was going to say, what's the, what's the time lapse between between the integration with house call and the contact being launched into a campaign? Like, is it, is it immediate or is there a delay? So we could come in here and delete the person if, if need be. Yeah. By default, there's about a two hour delay. That's just give them time to, to see that. Yeah. So two hours, <laughs> are you importing the do not disturb tag from house call as well? 
we're we're not uh, but actually i can set let me see really quickly i can because i can't remember see. if safe here will give you that field or not but there is a switch in house call that you can turn on that that puts them on dn that's historic yeah, i've used to prevent them from getting review requests and all that other stuff segment infinite. yeah so it actually it's pulling over customer tags so if you add the tag let me see if you add the tag dnd i should be able to pull that let me see because I can show you just, what it looks like here. Yeah, I can definitely do a tag. That would work as well. But you also have the ability to, in their profile, I think you see it here, this send notifications check right here. Yeah, turn it off. And you can turn it off. And that will, it's, it, that's essentially d d Now, I don't know what yeah, this I looks gotcha. like in the API anymore, because this is all new, this communication preferences and consent. Yeah. I don't know if that. Yeah, would you? Would you mind creating like a dummy project real quick with your contact and adding sure. the D&D tag so I can format the data with the way it comes through? Yep. Let's do this. So we're going to do a new job and we'll tag this with D&D. I'll tag it with D&D and then I'll also, I'll make this customer have notifications off so you can see what it says. I'd already have that. Let's see. Go. And then we'll go ahead and finish this job. And then that should give you a notification, I think. Bar comes through tags, tag D and D. Yeah. Let's see. Retest this. Yeah, perfect. So I'll just show my screen real quick. So you can see your completed job came through. And when you see the data, it brings over the customer tags D and D. And so the filter will just be and, uh, customer tags. It, it also had that contain. notifications enabled there as well. Yeah. Yeah, that's all another way you could yeah, filter that out too. Right below. Yeah, customer notes. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah, I can do both. So we can do kind of we can do or customer yeah. notification. There we go. Yeah. It said fall. Sweet. So we can retest. Yeah. So this is so as long as it, the customer notifications does not contain faults and the tags do not contain D and D, it won't go through. So yeah, perfect. Sweet. Cool. All right. Good stuff. Yeah. So yeah, you can just, so now you don't, you don't have to worry about logging really at all. As long as you just mark it in market as no notifications or D and D tag or whatever in there, then you're good to go. Cool. Sounds good. Sweet. Awesome, man. Well, yeah. If y'all have any questions at all, please let me know. Just clay at reviewers.com or uh, support at reviewers.com. We'll get back to you pretty much pretty quickly. And uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and launch your account and hopefully see some reviews coming in. Yeah, maybe tomorrow or Wednesday. Awesome. Cool. Sounds good. Appreciate it. Awesome. Y'all have a great rest of y'all's day. Nice to meet you, man. Enjoy the snow. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. hopefully. If you liked that video and you made it this far, you probably want to learn how you can do something like this yourself. So if you sign up with my link down below in the description, you'll get access to so much more content just like this. You'll get access to my website template, my step-by-step -step trainings. You'll, you can see how you can get up to three coaching calls with me per week. All that is discussed in the school, school community with over 450 active members doing the same thing, working together, learning from one another. And if you're already on the 497 plan of high level, you can just sign up directly to the school community with the link below. Or if you're on the 297 plan and you want access, you can upgrade to the 497 plan and get access to everything for free. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to watch me close a live sales call, click this next video here. I think you'll like it.